Okay, so we did one hand form shooting, we did shooting off the catch, or, or I call it balance form shooting with the catch in our balance hand. Balance hand, not the guide hand. Okay, we just showed, showed the balance hand shooting where I was backing up. You can do the balance hand shooting, same thing as we did with one hand form shooting where you go five spots and you make ten from each spot. Okay, it's also good to, to make five, take a step back, make five, take a step back. Okay. Whatever you're doing, you're just building that repetition in your mind of just like riding a bicycle, it's that same motion every time. I prepare for the shot the same way, and I shoot the shot the same way. So the next progression of that is I should have shot maybe around 100 shots between one hand and balance form shooting. The next thing is form shooting off the dribble, okay? Um, again, I'm a right-handed player. So what do I do? Let's be, we're gonna be redundant. Take my right foot in the center of the rim to here. Again, bent, chest up, shoulders away from the ears. Okay? Okay, everything's aligned with that right toe. So now I'm going shooting off the bounce. Okay? Shooting off the bounce. Not moving our feet yet, we're still form shooting. Okay? When I caught it, I brought it right to here. Okay? In one hand, I brought it right to here. When I go off the bounce, same exact thing. I'm gonna take one hard bounce. Okay? Now when I hold the ball, I like to hold it with that wrist flex. So if I was gonna shoot it, I'm ready to shoot it here. I'm not, I'm not here bouncing it and then trying to get ready to shoot. I'm already ready to shoot. Okay, I'm ready to shoot, I'm low, I'm ready. Okay, so when I bounce it, I'm not really changing much. I'm bouncing it and look where I am. Wrist, elbow, knee, toe. Okay? Bounce it going. And again, this balance hand is to do just that. Help balance that ball and bring it up to there. Okay? Bounce it. Everything's the same. I could take this hand off. My feet start the shot. And those two fingers hook up onto the rim. Okay? Same idea. Same idea. Bounce it. Okay? Only one move that right toe. Bounce it. Okay? Again, do this from every spot. Okay? Right foot. Right, so always in the center of the rim. Bounce it up and over the front of the rim. Make, make five, okay? Cool. Thing the same. Bounce it here, up and over the front of the rim, okay? Everything's the same. We see how redundant this is, right? That's what shooting is. Shooting is repetition of the mind. We're trying to replicate the same motion over and over and over again. We know the Larry, the Larry Bird rule, outliers rule, 10,000 times. If you're good at something, do it 10,000 times. It's really good, it's really efficient to get good at it right around the basket. It's tough to get good at it from out there if you haven't gotten good at it out here. Steal another line from my man Hopla. How could you shoot a 20 foot shot, a 20 foot shot on the move when you can't make a two foot shot? Okay, you gotta be able to efficiently make a two foot shot. Again, repeating the same motion over and over again. So we just did right hand. You wanna start a new one? We did form, I mean we did one hand form shooting. We did shooting off balance form shooting, catching. Okay, we just did right hand pass. Left hand, same thing. What are we trying to get to? We're trying to get to that shooting L. That 90 degrees. Most important thing, okay? If we're at 90 degrees and our elbow and our wrist and elbow, toe and knee are lined up, that ball's gonna go straight. Right? If we shoot the ball straight, we eliminate half of our miss. Commission shots left and right. There's something wrong, okay? Commission shots long and short, easier adjustment, right? Probably you need more arc, right? Maybe, maybe the ball is sitting on your hand a little too deep. Maybe something like that. Easier adjustment than left and right. If that ball is hook in the rim and you're missing long and short, don't worry about it, okay? Every good, every good shot's not a make, okay? And sometimes bad shots go in. So worry about, is this shot feel the same as my last shot? Does that shot feel the same as the one I just shot? If every shot's starting to feel the same exact way, then you're becoming a better shooter. So left hand, dribble form shooter. We just did right hand really easy. Right hand, everything's ready, I don't get it. But everything kind of stays in one line. Left hand, a little more difficult. A little more difficult. I'm gonna pound the ball on my left hand. Again, I'm getting low. Balls on my feet, I can slide my fingers on any my heels, so I'm bouncy, I'm athletic, my core is engaged, okay, not hunching, everything the same. Keep telling yourself the same thing over and over and over. Okay, again, shooting repetition.
repetition, repetition, repetition. Okay? Lost the ball by left hand. What do you, most guys who struggle shooting this way do, this is what they do. They bounce the ball with the left hand and they bring the, their right hand over. Okay? I'm just talking about guys who dip the ball in the catch. Guys who catch and dip, it's always going to be different when you come up. What did we just say about great shooters? It's the same thing over and over again. So when I go here, it's always going to be different. If you're here, okay, you can maybe do a better job and bring it here. But then the ball's sitting on the wrong part of my hand, it falls off. Okay, so I don't want to bring my right hand to my left hand. I want to bring that ball from the left side back to what? My shooting up. Okay, a 90 degree angle. Okay? So everything again, the same. Feet are lined up, shoulders are train tracking the rim, right? My shoulders are train tracking the rim. The thing I haven't talked about enough is my eyes, okay? My eyes are always at the rim. Okay, I know I want to look at where I'm shooting. I want to look at my target. Okay, I don't I don't shoot darts and look over here and shoot a dart. Okay, or look at my feet and shoot a dart. Okay, so once I line everything up, I want my eyes up on my target. Okay, my eyes are on my target. Then where you shoot, I'm bringing the ball over here. Look where I brought it. Same spot, same spot. Look redundant, look, look familiar. It is, okay? And boom. And look at my finish. Again, falling forward, up, and then maybe forward. Okay? Again. Two feet. Full engage. Pause. Up and through. Okay? You're done, this is done. You're done. Five, five, five. Over here, seven, four. And again, it's always feeling the same. If I don't make one, which I, I make a lot of them, I make a lot of them. If I don't make one, I don't get mad unless it doesn't feel the same, right? Unless my balance is off, unless my feet were on, if my follow through wasn't going into the rim, right? If my eyes weren't at the rim. If I did something like that, I might get a little mad at myself. But if I did everything, my feet were square, my core was engaged, my shoulders away from my ears, I'm nice and bent, I get the ball to that 90 degree angle, my hands right underneath the ball, the ball's sitting in the perfect spot, I shoot it up, these two fingers hook the rim, sometimes the ball doesn't go in, okay? Don't get mad about that. Worry about shooting the same shot over and over, whether it's one hand, off the catch, right? off the right hand bounce, off the left hand bounce. Right? And we're going to get into shots on the move, getting our feet in the shot, shots off the dribble, all that stuff. But if you can't get this perfect, not okay, not good, perfect, you have to be perfect at this. You want to make Ray Allen, his rule was he made 300 shots in the paint okay, before he even shot another shot. If I made 50 one hand, 50 off the catch, 50 right hand, 50 left hand, that's 200 makes. That's a good way to start. That's a good way to start a workout, 200 makes. And I know a lot of you guys won't shoot 200 shots in a workout. Good players, great, not good players, great shooters shoot two, make, don't shoot, they make 200 shots before they even leave the paint. Once they make 200 shots in the paint, then they can get on with their workout, leave the paint, and get on to other things which we will get into, but again, you want to be a great shooter, you want to be a Steph Curry, you want to be a Ray Allen, okay, Michael Red, one of my favorites, you got to get it done in here before you move out there, okay, next thing, is, next thing we'll do will be uh, catch, catch and shoot on the front, okay? catch and shoot 15 feet, which you'll see is very similar to what we did catch and shoot right in the paint.